A vaccine is a substance introduced to the body to protect a person against specific infections. It teaches the body to recognize the virus or bacteria that causes the infection and helps the immune system fight back against it. Vaccines have helped get rid of smallpox and greatly reduce the spread of harmful diseases such as polio and measles, saving millions of lives every year. There are many steps that a vaccine passes through in order to guarantee that it is safe and effective. First, researchers test a potential vaccine on animal and human cells. Then, they test it in animals to see how it affects live body organs. Next, clinical trials are performed on humans. Phase 1 trials test the vaccine in fewer than 100 uninfected volunteers for up to one year. It determines whether the vaccine is safe and how the body's immune system responds to it. Phase 2 trials test the vaccine in several hundred uninfected volunteers and this lasts for two or more years. This step determines the vaccine's safety and whether it causes the body to produce an immune response. Phase 3 trials test the vaccine in thousands of people and usually last for one to five years. The vaccine is still being tested for safety and whether it helps the body to produce an immune response that can protect it. All clinical trials must be approved by regulatory authorities to ensure volunteers in the study are safe and that their rights are protected. The process of developing vaccines takes many years. For example, the vaccine against polio took over 45 years to develop. Like these other vaccines, the development of a HIV vaccine should be possible. Scientists are working on many different potential vaccines. Studies in animals have shown that infection can be prevented completely. In rare cases, people have been able to resist infection despite repeated exposure to the virus. Scientists have already discovered special antibodies that can neutralize many types of HIV in some infected people. Vaccines being tested cannot cause HIV infection because they do not contain HIV. The trial vaccines contain imitations of pieces of HIV that have been made in laboratories. However, all research does involve some risk. Common side effects include soreness from the injection, fevers, headaches, or body aches. These symptoms usually go away on their own after a day or two. Despite great progress in providing access to HIV prevention methods and antiretroviral therapy, as of 2019, there are around 38 million people living with HIV. Over 770,000 people died in the past year of AIDS-related complications, and 1.7 million people were newly infected with the virus. An effective vaccine is our best long-term hope for effectively controlling HIV. No infectious viral disease has ever been eliminated without the use of a vaccine. Developing such a vaccine requires worldwide support from everyone communities, governments, policy makers, civil society, industry, and academia.